Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It's so nice to have you here with me today and I'm so glad that you decided to stop by and visit. And if this is your first time here at Catherine's Garden and Home, I would like you to consider subscribing to my channel and also hitting the notification bell for more videos. Right now we are experiencing late summer and things are still looking pretty good I would say. However, soon the fall weather and temperature will be affecting the garden. But while the garden is looking alive and things are still growing and still blooming, let us enjoy it together. Autumn always has a funny way of sneaking up on us. And one day it is immersed in summer's abundance and we're trying to gather and harvest all that we can. And then the next day we notice that things are starting to wither and die back. But yet, that doesn't stop us because we have the beautiful fall plants like mom's that help to keep the color going and keep us in the garden. Welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home. It's so good to be here with you today. I hope that all is well with you. And I hope that you are enjoying your September days in the garden. This is the time to enjoy the flowers, enjoy the abundance and the abundant uh, experience of the garden as the garden transitions from late summer into autumn and the autumn colors are so rich and vibrant so enjoy it look for it look for that joy in the garden <laughs> deck table, I have this arrangement. And the uh, chrysanthemums or moms, garden moms, have been developing and just opening up. Now, those moms that I have there, the white and the purpley colored ones, they have been around for a while. So they bloomed early. But these, the marooned ones, they are now opening up their buds and it is best to get plants that are um, that the blooms aren't as open because then it'll last a little bit longer but if you want immediate um, feedback you want immediate impact then you can get it open like this and enjoy it for the time you can also plant um, mums in the garden directly and um, in my area sometimes they come back if you mulch them very well and give them time to root so that's what I'm going to do with these mums I'm going to put them in the ground now so that they'll have this time before the first frost to actually become established in the ground and then actually and grow out um, looking really really pretty mm -hmm. And so that next year at this time, 
I'll be able to enjoy the mums. They actually, I think, start to bloom out earlier, probably um, late August into September. If I don't Chelsea chop, chop it back or pinch them, then they will come back earlier, which would be fine because um, they will just add color to the garden. So uh, enjoy your moms. I just wanted to share that with you. I am so pleased with my deck plantings. They look so healthy and good and I love how the canners have been opening up throughout the time. Now this one of course is a little worn out so what I will do is just pull it, pull it out and that leaves these others and it leaves room for them to come up and I think it actually encourages more blooms. You can see that here. Now this one is definitely opened up and it's looking really, really good. And now at this time, the blooms are just expanding, that they're really um, growing up. And I like the height of this one this canna versus some of the other cannas that I've seen and even my other Tropicana it um, has a really long stalk and the leaves are kind of far away from it you know so it doesn't seem to go together as well as this one does I really like this one and I like the color and I guess because it just blends so well with the impatience and also with the caladiums it's a really beautiful scene now here on the deck I also have my um, chrysanthemums and these chrysanthemums I got them early in the season so they are about to fade here. And what I'm going to do with these, put them in the ground because um, they are garden mums and what will happen is that they'll have a chance to become established and they will also have a chance to be perennialized in the garden. That means that next year they'll come back if they can develop a strong root system. And if I put them in now, that gives them the opportunity to become established in the garden. And next year, I will have um, chrysanthemums. They will show up in late summer into September, so that's a good thing. Now, this here is a chrysanthemum that um, has later blooms. This probably was pinched so it has a chance to um, survive um, longer into the fall season along with these here because they are uh, still in bud form i'm going to be able to enjoy them longer into um, september so these are going to go into the ground um, I'm going to put them all into the ground, but I do love them on the deck because I get to enjoy them close up. I have another planting here as well. Now this one, this is a aster, which is a little different, and it can perennialize in the garden too, if planted in and established. And then I also have my basil. But these are fall weather uh, plants that can handle some frost um, and if we put them in the ground or just continue to keep them watered they will last for a while. One of the other things that I'm thinking of doing too is that when the impatience give up and um, start to wither away like they're doing here in this one 
um, what I will do is plant some of the uh, pot up some one of the mums into this planter but look at how this nasturtium is looking so good and that's going to create nasturtium seeds so they can actually perennialize themselves and reseed if they fall of course in the dirt <laughs> but I can collect the seeds and have this um, Alaska nasturtium back because I really love the leaves and the leaf structure and I think that this sedum looks so good here I have my um, that's my fig tree it's doing well and the beans it looks like it's uh, experiencing um, some chlorosis chlorosis where the leaves are so uh, chartreuse but um, it fits in here <laughs> it looks good my aunt gave me these three also here on the deck I also have these beautiful uh, containers, my container garden. And they have been looking really, really good. Um, I have been so pleased with how the containers have filled out, especially my um, cannas. These cannas look so good. And each time they, they produce a beautiful bloom, and the bloom then um, opens up. Yes, it fades, but because it, I am close by to it, I'm able to pull out the um, blooms that are not that are not doing well, <laughs> and I'm able to maintain the blooms that are uh, looking good, so that the flower is just really beautiful. And more and more of the flowers are opening up here in um, for the cannas. Now, right now at this time, the um, the impatience are fading. Are starting to fade for some of them. So that will require that I um, pull them out, and I may just put something else there instead. Uh, to deal with that but overall um, these containers have been a real joy here on, on um, my garden deck and I am so pleased with them Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. What are you doing in your garden? What's happening for you? How are you experiencing the garden? And um, leave a comment down below and let me know. And so that we can share with one another the joy of the garden. Well, thank you so much for watching as we Grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's garden and home. Come on and 
Grow, 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 grow together. The cats win Scotland and home. <laughs> Have a great day and see you next time right here at Catherine's Garden and Home. Bye! Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.